when you were here last week you are getting a replay not only in the fact that you know you get to hear our wonderful voices again but now when you look across the pitch between these two teams once again both the two teams are now sitting at same records you have your gothic knights who started out just abysmal one and six on all the games oh and two in the first two series but then turned it down with back to back to back sweeps which you saw last week so now they're sitting at a very happy three and two very hot and then you look across the pitch at those dolphins they're also three and two but it's a different three and two they're coming off of a very tough three two loss last week so it could be kind of a little bit of a momentum game i'm thinking absolutely the csi dolphins they did lose two to three against the liu sharks uh so it's going to be a pretty i think it's going to be definitely a cool it's going to be a tough match but i mean the gothic knights they're coming in i think hot's an understatement honestly i think <laughs> you know coming in 3-0 Stonehill College, 3-0 uh, against Catholic UA Red, 3-0 against RWUC. I mean, I'm not, nice. a, been... I'm not a math person, but, you know, that's nine wins and zero losses in the past three weeks. I mean, you're feeling pretty hot right now, K-Wing. I got to say, if you're a gambling man, you probably want to put it on towards that not Gothic Knight side. And obviously, might be a little bit biased here, but it's okay because, you know, <laughs> They have been hot. They've been playing well. You know, I got to talk to Wells a little bit before here, and, you know, he's a little bit worried because, unfortunately, we will not have charisma tonight, so we're playing with one of our backups. But he's very confident in this team. We're going to be playing a couple of higher-ranked players on the CS <laughs> CSI team. I love the CSI <laughs> Dolphins, man. It's going to make me smile every time. Um, it's a little Absolutely. bit higher-ranked. And so, you know, it's going to be a chance to really just see the pacing pick up hopefully for the gothic knights and see them play more of that higher elo style absolutely i mean we really did csi dolphins is just it's gonna make me smile as well too it's just it's such a funny sort of uh it's a funny name um and we were joking about it in the but uh really just Definitely, when you're coming in with some high elo players on the on the enemy team and some and a sub, it's gonna be it, it's difficult for NJCU for the Gothic Knights. But really, you're looking for an increase in tempo, and I think even from last time, you want to see a lot more play in the air. We were talking about this before, but there was a lot of ground play from the Gothic Knights, and they did pretty well with the ground play. But the aerial play is where so much of Rocket League takes place. It's really what kind of lets you step up and separate, for lack of a better term, just the men from the boys. You start to put it up high and you make people get awkward. They get in the air. You have to either commit or fully not commit. And so it kind of makes it awkward as a defender or as an offensive person trying to read these plays. And so it's we talked about it last week. We talked about it before here in a little bit of a production meeting. We want to see if our Gothic Knights can start to pick up the ball, not only in pace, but also get it off the ground. Look for those more lateral passes. Try and spread the field around because they did a good job of spreading the pitch out when they were on the ground, but they didn't attack the backboard well. They didn't use those sidewalls trying to get it off, so it's going to be up to Wells and company. They had a couple of those in game one, which I liked, but it slowly fell off, so we're going to have to continue to press that on. I 100% agree as... Uh... We we're just waiting for the lobby to get going here um, as our Gothic Knights have joined in the and into the lobby. And I think if you're t if we're talking about star players on the Gothic Knights team, incredible team all around. But I think the conversation of an M of a of a, of a player that we're going to be looking for star plays from, I think the conversation starts and ends with Wells starts and ends with that w uh well this is strange uh how many bodies are in that lobby hmm. how many people like there check spectate well here we go the ball already catapulting towards njcu's goal and the shot's going to come in as well and 11 team is already going to get that early score uh right off of that First kickoff, almost immediately, Maravi sets it up on a golden platter, and already the NJCU uh, at a bit of a disadvantage. 
Yeah, it's very important here to score early, so you got to wonder what your Gothic Knights can do. Absolutely, and the ball is already coming towards the net. It's going to get saved by, a, by Skinny away, but the danger is not gone yet as the ball is going to get catapulted towards him. The ball is going to send in, and Driftsy will score another one with a nice assist by 11 team and 2-0 to zero already. The Gothic Knights, they're suffering early. It's only been 21 seconds, and they're down at 2. All right, we're having a little bit of... They kicked me out, man. <laughs> Absolutely, that's some very disgusting, disgusting things, and honestly, I think that your presence here is... It's, it's having a, bad, a poor effect on the members of the Gothic Knights here, an inspiration to them, as they've already gotten another score gone, and it's 3-0. to zero. Well, you got to be careful here. Just it's kind of an early game tilt here, and so sometimes when a team gets so far ahead, you know they start to just score a lot, and you have to be careful here. Three zero. It's just kind of pacing here has to be the issue. Absolutely, it does. And now as we get into it, a little more time. A little team going to make that save as it, as the Gothic Knights going to send that ball back, but it's right back to the CSI Dolphins. They're going to send it in. Eleven team has this ball ready to get something. Wells now has possession, but he's going to give it up right to 11 team, going to send it in. Wells taking it to the center, going to try and drive it to the Dolphins goal, crossing midfield, but the 50-50 is not going to go his way, going to send it through. And now, oh, the demo onto King Ravi. This could be the Gothic Knights at best chance here, but not much is going to happen off the back of it. And now Wells going to try and make the save, but Alpha will eventually stop the ball from coming in but the center's going to come in and wells will stop it from getting in and the danger still there as this constant pressure that's coming in from csi dolphin they're just absolutely putting on pressure and pressure and pressure and the gothic knights are buckling under that. it and the ball is going to come in again and there you go king moravi will score again well and it's four to zero for the gothic knights yeah well that's a little bit of a mystery there from alpha you got to get up earlier so obviously the sub play has to be a little bit better you know the pressure's just been unrelenting here from csi and your gothic knights are having some issue not only getting the ball out of their half but they're looking a little bit confused here in rotations but now alpha hybrid and wells pass trying to find him there is skinny has a chance but there's no one back home this is going to be a quick turnaround it is five oh, to nothing no. the shells are just starting game Wing. that's definitely true and now if you're looking at the gothic knights they're going to need something to turn this around as five to zero in the first two minutes that's got to hurt your mental well sometimes you get in a game like this and it just starts to get out of hand and so all you can worry about is just starting to play rotationally better start to play a little bit more confidently and not worry about the score just i used to have a little piece of paper that i could cover up the scoreboard when I got into a game like this. So just don't really care about it here as Wells and company have to set something up, but a great job by 11 team, able to clear that out. Beautiful control here on the ball is now Drissy now. Nice touch, looking for 11 team again, but no boost means no problem for Wells who does get that save. Wells does get an amazing save there as now the ball is gonna be sent towards CSI, the Dolphins. They're gonna get sent right towards that goal. And now it just needs a follow up, but they're not going to get it, not going to happen. And the ball's gonna get sent towards the goal. Wells will get the save just barely, but the demo's gonna get come in onto Skinny. And it's a three versus two for the Dolphins. They're gonna get sent in a respawn already for, and now the ball all back at the Gothic Knights goal and they're going to shoot it in. Wells is going to make the save. Wells has been playing goalkeeper heroically, but a lot has come in from the Dolphins. Another shot going to just barely miss the net there. And there's just so much pressure. It feels like the Gothic Knights can barely be allowed to breathe before another push comes in from the Dolphins. Well, right now, this Dolphins team has been just relentless. They're doing a great job of controlling the ball, not only at midfield, but off of the backboard, making Wells make all these saves, making Skinny and Alpha rotate where they're not comfortable now as King Marvy has to take something here. He's on the backboard, needs another touch, just slow play, killing time, up five goals as Alpha now gets a solid 50. You have to be careful here, but a good clear from Drifty means Skinny has to catch it here. 
that he does, and now we're coming into this. We're coming into a point in the match where the Gothic Knights, they need to start making miracle plays here and to start to make up this deficit, but the pressure is not, is relentless. The, oh, it's just relentless from the Dolphins. It's slowed down a little bit, but six to zero is a demoralizing start to the Gothic Knights. Well, you got to be careful there. You saw both of our boys commit in the corner. I think that was Wells, and I think it was Skinny. So that wasn't the sub there. It's just a little bit of the tilt probably getting to it here. Morabi has a chance. Nice touch on the backboard. There's Drifty. That's going to be 7-0. Oh, my goodness. Your Gothic Knights just a little bit shook here as 11 team on a solid kickoff. And the CSI Dolphins, very hot right now. Absolutely, they are, and I think the only good thing that's going to come out of this match for your Gothic Knights is the fact that the thing that the Gothic Knights need to do right now is they need to make sure that this doesn't affect their mental coming in to map two and map three, to round two and round three, because right now, unless they pull out some crazy plays, this, this game is going to be a bit of a wash. You're not going to win down seven to zero with 30 seconds on the clock but you can't let it affect your next match as you literally do get a bit of a reset button you go up you're down one to zero in the total score but if you let it affect your mental you then you've already you've lost the entire match i do agree aeon they're trying to get the brazil it looked like they were trying to let us in there that near post shot falls away as 11 team hits the banger here wells off of the top of the post a great save now Alpha Hybrid, four seconds, being slow here. Nice touch off of that. Tigress now using that purple one. The new one, the Storic. Chance here at the end. But CSI 7-0 in game one, and they take a very commanding lead here. That they do, and... Oof! Yeah, absolutely. I mean, CSI coming in with all of their players getting 580, 645, and 679 points is definitely pretty impressive but i think you do have to look at wells with 633 saves it's an impressive number especially considering the thing that we always like to talk about wells for that 144 with in that ping column well the issue is you saw how hard it is to get anything going here against this dolphin squad they did a beautiful job of controlling the field on their opponent's half sometimes that's really hard to do and that's really just where we start to talk and you see that mmr difference you see king moravi you see drifting you see an 11 team rotating at that midfield taking our boost and rotating so well and just keeping that pressure on i mean that is 20 to 3 shots you will not win any game if you allow 20 shots and only get three of yourself so right now it's just kind of go back to the drawing board kind of flip everything over chill out and it's going to be okay you need to get an early goal, kind of flip it back. And I think that's how your Gothic Knights can start to get back in this series. Well, they're neat. they they definitely need to change something because that first game did not work out very well for them. So now we get into map two, Gothic Knights down one to zero in the series, hoping to turn to get a reversal of fortunes here as well as going to go advantageous to the Gothic Knights, but King Moravi going to already get that control back. Well, it's going to take it away from him though, and Drifsy will send it right back in towards the center, not going to get in, but 11 team will get the shot just above the net, going to get rocked back. Shot will come in again. Moravi going to try and get a center in, going to send it towards the net and actually going to knock his, oh gonna knock his own shot into the goal there and already a first goal for the Dolphins squad well just a great read there from the Dolphins they're doing a beautiful job of applying pressure early off of kickoffs they're forcing mistakes that you don't really see here from the Gothic Knights that's another double commit and they tried to score on it early just couldn't get it to go here as 11 team now has it off the backboard looking for Drifsy there that's gonna be there but Skinny able to flip the field down Alpha trying to get something going but a good 50 from Drifty means that slows back down up here trying to get it was Marabi the fake coming through I think he's going to pass it up here's 11 team has to stay on this now two players once again from the Gothic Knight they're in the corner you need to be careful here as they're starting to get punched up again I think that almost may come from a bit of 
a little bit of lack of trust of having a substitute on your team where there's a le where there's a lot less understanding between your two regular players and the substitute. Um, but I think also when you go down seven to zero, you start to you start to lose trust in your in your teammates, and you start to think maybe we're not as good as we think. And that can absolutely be a part of that mental boom as we see 11 team going to send it towards the center. Not no one there to send it towards the net, but the ball is still coming towards the center. And 11 teams is going to take advantage of the chaos and send it in towards the net. Well, right now, Wells having a rotate near post because Alpha wasn't there in time. So when you're having to make those just attempts off of the inside of the net, you know it's just panic inducing here from your Gothic Knights and they're back down in a very familiar and a very uncomfortable spot as they're down two, gonna be down three unless Wells makes another great save. The epic being put from it, but 11 team just relentless here as Wells has to clear it again. The slowdown here from the Dolphins means it slowly gets pushed back out. 11 team now a lot of boost, able to push it off the sidewall. One more touch, staying with it, gets it past Alpha. Now it's up to Skinny though, that field Fipper, that's gonna finally let this Gothic Knight squad breathe for once. I gotta say K-Wing, it's getting rough out there. That it is, and already the aggression coming out from the Dolphins. They just play so aggressive, even when they should, it feels like they should be on the defense. They're just playing so aggressively, and they're just pushing, waiting for that opportunity to strike. And there it comes, a skinny going to get destroyed by Moravi. And 11 teen going to send this ball in towards the center. Is there going to be anything there? There's not. There's going to be a little shot, but not much there for the Dolphins, but they still have this pressure. 11 team going to get control, going to send towards the net, going to beat out Wells. Skinny trying to get something going, not going to find anything. Skinny going to take the ball, but King Moravi is again going to take it from them. Wells will get the ball taken and centered towards, find any to send it to the net. Drifty going to send it back a little bit. And the Gothic Knights have a chance to counterattack here with this ball so close to the Dolphins' shot. Here comes Wells, going to try and shoot it, going to get the double tap. And the first goal for your Gothic Knights, it's one to two. And Wells trying to make this a close game, and he's succeeding. Well, the name of the game has been capitalizing on your opponent's mistakes. You've seen the Dolphins been able to take advantage of the double commits, any misses that they've had. There's been shots or retaliations for it. That little bit of an errant back pass from Drifts, he turns it back and Wells with a double tap, able to make it back within one now. Skinny trying to put it past 11 team, but 11 team's there. So Drifty now trying to throw it to the backboard, trying to set up some offense. Wells doing it all once again. Now you got to be careful here. Wells, this star player, low boost. That's going to be an own goal. What are you doing as Drifty collects the free 100 points? Oh my goodness. Oh no. We're just looking at this replay here and oh, this is going to be embarrassing. Oh. Oh no. Things you hate to see starring that for 500. I'll take it. I will not take it. I do not like that as now the Dolphins up two up by two scores here in looking for match point they are playing just so aggressively as 11 teams going to take it from that double commit going to try and send it towards the net going to just barely miss that double tap Drifts are going to take control and send it to king Maravi. the dolphins on the counter attack here going to send it in towards the center as Maravi going to pick up that boost going to have that power to keep going. Drifty going to send it up in the air towards the center. Wells is going to make that save, and Gothic Knights just cannot seem to get any counterattack with the saves they get as Wells is going to get that contest, and now the counterattack for the Gothic Knights, but King Moravi is there to take it back and send it towards the net, and Alpha will send it away. Counterattack possibility for the Gothic Knights here. Got to be careful there. It's another big whiff there at midfield. Skinny trying to get the big clear. Couldn't get it to go, so it was turned back around immediately. Now the Gothic Knights have a chance. Wells was there, but he couldn't find the ball through the meshes. Dripsy able to clear it out. Now is 30 seconds. The clock continues to dick your Gothic Knights back on the defensive half. It's Alpha just trying to get something there, but couldn't get it to go. So now Wells has a slow play here. That Finnick is trying to do something on the sidewall, but Dripsy now waiting for it, looking for the faster King, but King can't get there in time. Your Gothic Knights breathe a sigh of relief as there's a rule one on the same team. What are you guys doing? That's something you don't want to see. Continues to tick down. Ten seconds left. I think this one might be in the books, K-Wing. 
it might be is we see that clock ticking down time after time and CSI, they're just playing defense here. They're not trying to go for the attack. They're just trying to keep it away. The Gothic Knights and GG's coming in and CSI, the Dolphins, two to zero. And I think one thing that we might, we might want to talk about here is the fact of the conditions that the that the Gothic Knights are playing and how they're playing in. I mean, they're playing from home due to COVID-19. And there's a lot that you can, there's a lot of distractions potentially from the, just from either, you know, the ping like Wells or just in general, you don't have as focused of an environment as you might want. Uh, you could have people uh, coming in and disrupting you. You could have people making more noise and you're not with your team as well. And you're missing that important, important synergy. And we've seen a little bit of a lack of synergy coming out from the Gothic Knights uh, throughout these first two games. And now CSI, the Dolphins, they're on match point. And the Gothic Knights, they need a miracle to turn this around. Well, you need to be careful here. The biggest thing will be a mental play here from your Gothic Knights. You kind of sit down with that sub. You're like, hey, Alpha, don't worry about it. This is your game on stream. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. Game three, we're down two. So let's just have some fun here. Let's try and get a goal on, and let's continue to pressure like we know we can. Let's rotate. Let's be consistent. And that is how you'll start to get better. This is a very good test of strength. This is a very good team to play against. So your Gothic Knights should look at this. That's really just an opportunity here. 11 team and company have been great now as they win that kickoff once again. Drifty now looking for that 11 team up there. The pass coming through, but a good read from Skinny keeps it out the way. That it does. Wells is going to make the play. Send it towards the Dolphins net. Wells is going to make this play. Send it towards the net, but Drifty's going to make the save. Already coming through. Alpha Hybrid King. Going, King Ravi going to try and make the shot. Not going to find the net. And now it's 11 team going to make the play. The ball's going to see it sent off straight into the air of a hybrid, going to try and take advantage of this double commit. And Wells sent it towards Drifty, but Drifty's there to make the save on the ground. Already a pass coming in from a Dolphins member, King Ravi, going to equalize, try and send it back towards the Gothic Knights net. But Wells is there to make a shot, not going to get it. And the ball right back to the Gothic Knights goal. They're getting back to their roots, getting the ground play going. Try to get that passing. It was there. Wells a little bit too far away, or maybe the pass was too errant. But Alpha now trying to get involved. You like to see it here. Let's get that. Let's get the support in. Let's get this guy in. As now as King Maravi gets it past one, has another. He's got both players in the corner. You got to be careful here. As 11 team, just put it back there. You like to see the pressure finish if you're the Dolphins. But now Drifty, that last man up, but a big rotate from King Maravi keeps him safe for a second. Now Wells, nice touch. Skinny trying to get there in time. Three players up from the Dolphins means it won't fall the way this time. They're the. The Gothic Knights, they're trying to play aggressive here. They're trying to match the aggression that we've seen from the Dolphins. But that the counterpart of that is that when this counterattack happens, it's going to be devastating as King Moravi is just going to hit that side of the net and bounce it in. This beautiful ball control there on that side lane, running it up that right wall, getting the 100 boost for his troubles. Unfortunately, Wells caught on that ball side. It's really hard to read there. Just kind of got... Turn around in the corner, and then it's a great flick. Puts it in that top left end. And so right now, the CSI Dolphins up here. Match point, like you said, is 11 team. Fly and have a great time. Nice job getting back down to the ball. The Dolphins now, you got to be careful there on the double commit in the net, but it doesn't matter if Wells gets this out. It doesn't matter, but you can see there as Moravi gets that shot in, that double commit can be deadly with the follow-up. 11 team going to take the shot, and oh, well, just not there in time. And it's 2-0 for the Dolphins and the Gothic Knights. They need something to turn this around. Oh, Wells just didn't get a good angle on it. Well, you got to be careful there. Just a little bit of overcommittance. Wells going for the boost. And then just a whiff there on that front end. Again, I don't know who it was rotating in front of the ball there. Couldn't get it there. As now Wells in control here. Got to get something going. Back to the Octane. You like to see it. So hopefully we'll get something sparked here. A nice touch pass. One drifty slow plays it. So that means the Dolphins turn it back around. Alpha, though, playing a nice third, but got beat quickly by Drifty now. Wells now trying to get it out, but a good pressure from 11 team as it throws mid. King Marabi waiting for the redirect. <laughs> I like the look here from the Dolphins, but unable to connect now. 
Wells and your Gothic Knights trying to get a counterattack of their own here. The boost kind of falling down. You kind of can't forget the ball there as Drifty able to play it through. A nice bump there. King Maravi one on one. You know this oh, is no. trouble. That it is, and King Maravi has been absolutely deadly at that close range and just beating out Wells like that. Just not much, uh, not much that Wells could do there. Just out of position and got beat by Maravi. Just has he come ball. into this face off? Oh, the ball is going to go right towards the Gothic net, the Gothic Knights, and 11 is going to make the play. They're going to try and send it in towards the net, but 11 gets it in his own way. See, the CSI Dolphin is going to get in their own way a little bit of that goal. They're going to actually send the ball in towards the net. No one there to follow up, but 11 will try a little bit later into the play, but it won't find anything. Jersey going to keep this aggression so much. They're playing so far forward. They have the goal lead to play it like that, though, and King Moravi will get the goal and will get the hat trick as well, as Moravi has just been absolutely de devastating to the Gothic Knights thus far. I mean, only a hat trick. Only three goals, yeah. but it's really just been the capitalizing of the mistakes from the Dolphins. They're doing a beautiful job of applying pressure, and it's that old saying, pressure either makes diamonds or it bursts pipes. And with the sub in, with a little bit of a ping issues, you can see it's just really been a bit too much here for your Gothic Knights. This Alpha Hybrid has to wait for this here. The slow play, I like the touch here, but Drifty's already in the air. The great read here is the Dolphins are just relentless right now. Now Drifty with a one-on-two, but a good save from Skinny keeps it out. 11 team gets the demo from his teammate. That means Skinny has to run from post to post to get the save. Hybrid now. Uh, faking the ball here. You got to be careful here. Skinny now loses that 50. Wells is going to have to read off the backboard. A great touch means Drifty can't follow it up. Oh, but 11 team can going to send it right in towards the net. The ball going to just bounce over top. Wells has this control. Going to try and make a play. Skinny and Wells both trying to come in, but Skinny's going to get demoed. So will Drifty. And a bit of a trade there because it's a 2v2 now. Wells going to get the ball back at the by the. Uh, by the Gothic Knights goal. Skinny going to try and make a play. Alpha will get the better, but there's two people at the goal waiting for him. Wells will get the play away from 11 team, but the ball gets shot by King Moravi and another goal for him. He's been just, that was tech. He's been cutting through this defense like a hot knife through butter. Well, that was just textbook execution there from the Dolphins. You, you want to draw things up where you can say, if we have two on one, we want to take advantage of it. Wells is a heck of a player. Did a great job seeing that pass or shot out and slowing it down and making King Moravi make an awkward read. But because of the pressure from 11 team, he had to respect the pass more than the shot. And so when he put it back down, that meant King Moravi got the free goal off of him. Wells doing all he can right now is Drifty going for the double touch, but can't find it looking for that bottom right corner, but just a little bit too sharp at the angle. Now King Moravi trying to be cheeky in the air. Can't get it to go here. 15 seconds left in game number three. That it is, and I think they're able to do this a lot because they have this goal lead and because they're confident that if they lose this point, they can still come back and still play defensively to protect their self, or they can just score another. King Moravi can get a... Uh, can get a fifth goal on the, in this game and probably an un, an ungodly amount uh, on the night as two seconds left will seal this off for the CSI Dolphins as the New Jersey Devil Knights their winless their winning streak is ended and a rude awakening from the CSI Dolphins winning almost shutting them out with the exception of one goal in game two. That was a, that was almost, that was disgusting from the Dolphins as a quick three to zero shutout uh, finishes it off for the New Jersey, for the NJCU Gothic Knights. Well, the Gothic Knights played well. They played their hearts out. You saw the rotation. You saw them actually start to apply a little bit more pressure at the end of the game three there. And so it maybe felt like finally they're going to get back to their roots, try and go back to that ground game. But, you know, just with that sub, it just it just happens sometimes. And so we talked about it earlier about how this team was probably a little bit better than what we've seen. And so the speed is going to be there. You saw that speed difference. That's a great job from all the Dolphins players. They were on the ball fast. They were making quick rotations. They were just keeping our Gothic Knights off of their toes. 
absolutely they were. I mean, that was just no two ways about it. That was absolutely a route from the coming out from the CSI Dolphins. They absolutely played very, very, they played very powerful. They played very powerful, very aggressive Rocket League. And it seemed like they never let ever on their attack. Well, the pressure just was relentless. The rotations were great. The boost control was great. It's just, you hate to see it. Sometimes you're on the side of the broom. Sometimes you're on the side of the sweep, K-Wing. It's just, you know, it's unfortunately, it's coin flippy sometimes. Absolutely, it is. And I think we were talking, I talked about the mental a little bit before, but I think you're going to worry a little bit about the mental for your Gothic Knights going forward as coming in having three three to zero sweeps in a row that's that's a gigantic pat on the back for your gothic knights and they were absolutely they were definitely going to be coming into this on a bit of a high because they were coming in off of three dominant victories over their past opponents and now you're on the reverse end of that problem is that you you really got for no uh, in all intents of the word you absolutely got dominated and you don't want to see this bleed into further into the schedule you don't want to see the ghost of the CSI Dolphins haunting your gothic knights as they go forward so you really want to see uh, between uh, today and next week when we have the next game you really want to see a bit of a mental cleanse you want to say that game was that game our next game is our next game. The two aren't related, and we need to keep fighting as we should. Um, because, you, like I said, you don't want to see the, the ghost of this match haunting your Gothic Knights uh, for the rest of the season. Yep. All right. Well, you know, we, we talked about it a lot. The, the Frio Sweep uh, was great. Unfortunately, getting hit this week, it sucks. So I want to make sure we get it out to you guys at home. If you are in the NJCU Discord, make sure you check out. They have a sign-up ready. We're doing a Valorant Spike Rush tournament on the 20th. So sign-ups for that do close at the 19th. And so really, I think that'll be about it for us. Unfortunately, not what we wanted, but I'm Footh, and I was here with K-Wing, not K-Weather, <laughs> K-Wing. And I think we're going to be signing off here shortly.